Hey, fifth grade. So today we're going to be introduced to a new artist. His name is Husk Mit Noun. Yes, that sounds like I'm speaking another language because it is another language. His street art name, Husk Mit Noun, it's Danish for remember my name. So he's a Danish artist who creates these really cool 3D kind of illustration drawings. I'm going to show you a little bit more of that. Um, to come after I'm done talking here, but I wanted to show you in person what we're going to be creating. So I've done, I, went, I got a little carried away with these because they're so fun, so I hope you do too. We're going to be making surprise drawings. So of course, as you can see, this looks like a little bit of a present, but then when you open up the paper, there comes the surprise. I've got another one here. Just as an example, and then lastly, one that's going this way sideways. So while you're listening to this uh, presentation of this artist, I'm going to show you a video of him working. I actually, I was inspired by him at a gallery showing that I had gone to called Beyond the Streets in Brooklyn. And I had taken pictures of all of his work because while I was there, I was like, oh my gosh, my fifth graders would love this. So I'm so glad that I'm able to still present it to you even though we're all home. So we're going to be creating our very own versions of these. Now, his are a little bit different than these. I kind of took my own spin on it and made my own like this. Um, he usually does just black and white drawings of his artwork. But we're going to add color because why not? All right, so stay tuned. I hope you enjoy all the info that you learned about him. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, not a lot of videos that I could find that were in English, so the one that is in English is kind of short, which is fine. We're going to take a look at his artwork, and then we're going to get to drawing. I'll show you guys how to make these. All right, hope you enjoy. In the next clip, you're going to see uh, the exhibit that I went to, actually, and was inspired by to create this project for you. The exhibit was called Beyond the Streets, like I said before, um, and it had all different street artists from such a long period of time, from the early 70s until today. I'm Husk uh, Now. it means remember my name in Danish, and I'm from uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. One of the main rules in graffiti and street art is that you need to be active to be seen, you need to produce a lot. And regular artists, they don't, a lot of them don't know that. They just sit in their studio working on two or three paintings for a whole year. But when you come with a street background, you know that you have to produce work to be seen and to get recognized. This is such a big exhibition and perhaps you get inspired by walking around. If you go to a museum, there's always a drawing room for the children. So I wanted to create a place where you could do that. And if a kid walks in and becomes inspired and feel like drawing a bit more when they get home, then I've done my work, I think. I'm happy to be here to be representing Scandinavia at the Street Art Olympics. So. <laughs> All right, I'm going to slow down some of those images here so you can take a better look at them. He basically uses paper and illustrations and manipulates the paper to create a 3D version of that drawing. Now, in the private comments of this assignment, I'd like you to tell me why you think his face isn't being shown in that last video. So just a fun, few fun facts about Husk Mit Noun. He's really only been working as a full-time artist uh, for less than 15 years. He started out originally as a graffiti painter. Um, in the 1990s to, to 2000, uh, 2001, he has said that he started doing street posters and creating characters on those street posters. And then from there, he started to create um, gallery shows. He likes to separate from the gallery and the street, so he created these illustrations solely to be put into the gallery setting. Okay, one of the most important parts is the way you fold your paper. So you're going to take the top edge and fold it to the bottom edge. Then you're going to take the top part, separate those two pieces of paper, and you're going to fold only the top part up. Then 
you're going to flip it over and you're going to fold the back part up to the top as well, kind of like almost like an accordion. Now, the important part is that this fold that we just made, that is just going to be your guide line. So that one that you just folded, unfold it. You're going to have it so that the top has all of the folds and the bottom kind of just sits flat. One of the most important parts of this is to really figure out your design and draw lightly. I'm going to be making lots of mistakes here, you'll see them, while I'm trying to figure out this process. Alright, I'm going to show you the process now of how to create the present one with the dog popping out. You can create the present one and then do your own thing on the inside. You can do something completely different. Like I showed you, I had three different ones. So try to think about what creatively you can do here. So we're going to start with the box. You're going to draw right over the crease. And then here is the ribbon. I'm going to put the bow on top. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up. So you're going to be able to see the top and the bottom of the present. And now those two middle folds is where you're going to draw whatever it is you're going to put inside of it, if that's what you're going to go with this one. Whatever you draw has to stay underneath this line here, this fold line. Everything is going to go inside of those two different um, ones because what you're going to do is when you fold it, you're only going to be able to see what's on the top and the bottom. So you don't want it to go over those lines because it'll give it away that there's a surprise on the inside. I'm going to add a little bit more of the box here to the top and the bottom into those two folds. And then I'm going to draw my dog on the inside. Once I've got my design right and I've practiced opening and closing it and making sure that it makes sense and everything works out, I'm going to go ahead and outline it with Sharpie. This part's pretty important because Husqvarna Noun um, uses that black, that harsh black line in all of his illustrations. So this is going to be part of the style that he has created. So outline this whole entire thing. Okay, so here is my first example. Again, you do not have to do this one. You can do anything that you want. I'm just showing you some examples. If you get stuck, you could do the present one and then add something on the inside of the present. All right, here's another way of doing this. We're gonna start the same way by folding it from the top to the bottom. Fold the bottom edge up to the top. Then flip it over, fold the back up, and you only unfold the half of it, and you are ready to go. This one, I'm going to plan something to open up almost like sideways so that your paper is up and down. Instead of opening up, up and down, it's going to open up sideways. So I decided that I'm going to do a flower. So the flower is going to sit in the middle. And again, you need to plan this out and make sure that what you're drawing makes sense. So I always like to start a little something, whatever it is that I'm about to draw, and then once I'm done creating it, before I add to everything else, I open it up to make sure that it just makes sense. So now when I open this up, you can see on both sides, um, you've got half of that flower. So now I need to add to it and make two flowers. Again, those two middle folds is where you're going to add all the extra stuff. Okay, I got my drawing done here. So of course I'm going to go ahead and outline. All right, once you've gotten your idea down, I'd like you to upload your outlined drawing to Google Classroom, to this assignment in the Google Classroom. I'd like you to give me a closed picture and an open picture or a video if possible. 
Um, I would really love to see what they look like both closed and open. I cannot wait to see these and I hope you have the best time making them.